Not only did we see some heavy rain in the northwest the past 24 hours, but they've seen some very heavy rain out along the east coast as well. The front is moving up through that area, and there were some warnings today in Florida for possible severe thunderstorms and tornadoes, and heavy rain up into New England on the backside of that uh, low with some cooler temperatures, also some snow being reported tonight. Uh, temperatures on the cool side as well, just in the 30s in that area. Uh, down in the southern Terrell, a fairly pleasant day with temperatures up into the 60s and 70s in many locations. Our weather was a little bit cooler today with that front passing through. We did make it up to 60 degrees in Medford, 62 degrees in Fort Jones. Most places on the west side though were in the 50s and east of the Cascades today in the 40s. The front uh, will continue to track off toward the east. We have some isolated showers tonight at times, but there's a little bit of break in this as well. And we've seen that today with the sunshine peeking through occasionally. We'll get that mix this evening as well. The leading edge of some clouds will be coming into the coast by tomorrow and uh, we have another front working its way in. Rain showers likely across our area uh, by about Monday. Looking at the totals uh, for Medford in the last 24 hours, about six tenths of an inch. Again, officially on Friday we had 0.82, which was a new record for the date. We did see some heavy rain in quite a few places across the area. Uh, Mount Shasta City up around a half inch in the last 24. Scattered showers tomorrow out on the coast and a little breezy ahead of that next front coming in. Some gusts at times to about 20 miles per hour. High temperatures tomorrow will be in the low to mid 50s. Over northern California we'll see mostly cloudy skies, lighter winds though, and high temperatures in the upper 40s and the low 50s. In the Klamath Basin also mostly cloudy tomorrow with some high temperatures in the 40s. Over the mountains generally 30s and 40s. Again that snow tapering off tonight that we saw at some of the higher elevations. And in the Rogue and other western valleys for tomorrow. Some mostly cloudy skies, light winds also, and we expect temperatures to be a little bit cooler than what we had today because of that front passing through and uh, highs just in the mid-50s. Seven-day outlook for the coast. The next front comes in, as we said, Sunday night into Monday, and pretty good chance of seeing some rain showers on Monday on the coast. And then uh, later in the week, another front will swing in about Thursday with a little break in between. Temperatures this week will be pretty consistent, staying in the 50s for highs. In the climate Basin, we see a chance of seeing some of those showers uh, make it uh, on the east side. Temperatures will warm back up into the 50s by later in the week. In the area around Northern California, we'll also see a little bit of a warm up as the week goes on. This next front coming in Monday with rain on the coast, it looks like it's going to uh, dive to the south a little bit, so a greater chance of seeing some rain over Northern California on Monday than in Southern Oregon. And in the Rogue Valley, also a chance of some showers as these uh, fronts swing through, and we'll get back up closer to normal. Our temperatures right now a little bit below normal for this time of year, uh, but we do expect uh, back up into the 60s by later in the week. Not a lot of sunshine this week, not a lot of rain either. It just looks like clouds kind of hanging around a lot.